Hello everybody, my name is Blue Racknet and welcome back to Fallout 4. Yeah, when we in the last episode we rescued a guy named Rex, we got a super mutant companion and we are on the way to rescue the private detective uh, for some reason that I can't quite remember. Um, I found myself in this subway which is the entrance to where they're holding him. Uh, there's a terminal in there that actually gives some backstory on this uh, station. It appears that vault Tech bought out the station, as you can probably see by the shit here. But that terminal actually says that vault Tech brought out this station so they could put the vault down here. Not sure why they wanted to put the vault down here, but, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I did pick up some 10 mil ammo from those blokes I just killed. So where's that store? So now I've got a decent amount of ammo for it. Okay, so apparently we're getting straight into it. Whoa, okay, so we're not dealing with some ordinary, ordinary fuckers here. switch back out to a weapon that I can actually use. You dead. You're a ghoul. Oh shit. <coughs> well, I'm gonna die. Need some blood packs. I didn't get any more five mil. Um, just go back to. Well, what are you <coughs> to? <laughs> I don't like that the enemies can just evolve like that. They seem to be dodging me. Legendary chicken man down. Hot legs down. Uh, oh, that's Doge. Am I shooting Doge? The boss is below. Okay. I'll tell him myself. Doge is down. Doge is down. Doge boy. What are you doing? You silly dog. Um, yeah, so vault -Tec's really moved in all this shit down here. thought I saw someone over there. Um, yeah. I might actually have to come down and explore this a little later day. Why is there? Is that a car? No. That's a car. I don't know why that's down. Uh, scope out ahead. I did actually, I do think I did some back reading on this vault. Um, I think this is an unfinished vault. They were still constructing it when the bombs fell. I'll tell you that quantum though. You're a dude. You're a dude. 
sign of the vault. Oh, hello. Vault 114. Okay, so we found Vault 114. Give him the spray and pray. Aim properly, you douches. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Keep <laughs> Good boy. Good doge. I'm still waiting for you guys to give him an actual name. So that he can stay doge until you guys do. Give him, a, give him an acceptable name. Okay, so, Vault 114. I don't think it was actually finished. But the door is closed. So we'll plug in. Roll. So loud. Hello? What? I'll make this quick. This son of a bitch. Damn it, my soul. <laughs> is this a mob of ghouls? Have I only just noticed that this is a mob of ghouls? i take your clothes. It is. It's a mob of ghouls. Yeah, so you can very much see that this vault is not finished. It's not far off, but it's just not finished. Uh, vault 114 requires key. So we'll go this way. Okay, so we can go down. down. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Okay, so we're dealing with some pre-war ghouls. Which is interesting because I didn't think that, that was, there were that many rats. You little rat! There's a lot of groaning going on for a dead man. Oops, where am I going? I'm turning myself around. I do like all of. Ooh. I do like all of the uh, 10 mil ammo that I'm picking up. It's very, very useful. Am I back out in the subway? What the? What? <laughs> ah, shit. I'm out of ammo. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. Ooh, I've got plenty of ammo for you. A bit <laughs> oh, Stop it. Stop moving. I'm trying to kill you. Whoa. You have a little part of the same. Oh, 
Oh, you bastard. You fucking... Uh, where is Jester? What do you got? 45 rounds. Decent sub. Oh, you son of a... Daesh. Hey. Uh, ooh, Institute Pistol. I forgot that I had that. Um, Righteous Authority. Don't have any cells. What am I doing? I'm giving Doge plenty of shit. Uh, a few shelf ears, honey rifle. Can you a hold? No. Don't need that. Okay. Yeah. Desk door. Ooh. Yeah, fuck. I'll go with the uh, advanced 10 mil pistol. Let's see how that goes for. Give you all of this. Oh, you can't. Go. Oh, yeah, Doge. Carry on. We'll go with this one. I'm a walking badass. Providing I get, don't get shot up the ass. Yes, but plutonium well. Okay. Is there a call for a plutonium well? Stop the fucking moving. Center mass. Mm. Nothing better. 45 telephone I need. I'm not sure why I need a lot of telephones, but I must have marked a uh, resource that I needed. Down deeper into the vault. Call it a vault. It's not really a vault. Okay. What is this? Not tech terminal. Ah, uh, welcome employees. Technical science to be blah blah blah. Contracted outside of Voltec construction. Just civilian traffic construction completed. Maintaining security. Sweet. Okay. Science staff only. Um High ranking members of local and state governments, blah blah blah. Actually, aspect, blah blah blah. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Uh, I did read up about this vault. It was the one where there's all these high ranking people uh, who are used to the life of luxury and they've had to put up with pretty much uh, just above the poverty line. Um, the overseer was a bloke who was not a fan of authority he was against authority so um and he had basically free reign uh, no one could oppose him um yeah so that's pretty interesting pretty sadistic for a how you doing in there valentine feeling hungry want a snack oh, yeah. snack keep talking meathead <laughs> It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that. I'll fight you. <laughs> okay. All right, he's back. Yeah, you know I'm here, I know you're there. You select. Oh, he's moved. Okay, so we go back to this. Hello. <laughs> Dino's down. Oversee door password, bottle cap. Okay, so there's no more goons. Hey you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! Okay. Nick Valentine, whoever that is. Oh, that's the private eye. Right, okay. Take number. 
998. Override door controls. Who the? What the hell? Ah, uh -huh, my knight in You're shining a sin. armor. Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb for an old private eye? Whoa. What? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. Uh-huh. I'll take that bobblehead. Nice. I'll take... Malone's crew here used to be small time. This is Muscled Vault Tech Interview, neighborhood number by zero three. Player. For the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Exactly Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve... Th yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. So these are the interviews for the... This uh, is Vault Tech interview number 20. Very anti For the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. <laughs> Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. <laughs> What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. <sighs> this is Vault Tech interview number... I don't think there's any more. 87. For the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name <laughs> and has only provided the name Supkin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Supkin. Would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. <laughs> Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. 
sir. You may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. <laughs> or pants. Oh, God. And there you have it. Vault 114. Let's just follow this dude and get the fuck out of here. I'm going to come back and loot the joint um, afterwards. Might do it off camera. Why are we going down? Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino! Quit razzing that detective and get down here! Where the heck is he? Okay, so obviously we're gonna play shooting and killing all Apparently I suck at aiming in games too, so I need to up my set No one hurts my doge. Oh, I'm kind of hurt myself. <laughs> and here you are. So where's this Valentine? Okay, I need to save up my caps. What the hell? Stop that. Shoot phone vibrating. Hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Well, it's not me, so I don't this give a door's shit. on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Oh, that's right. Are you going to interface? Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. I can lock pick two. <laughs> well, it's clearly not the last one because a thousand of them just appeared on the radar. Oops, break a body pin. Nice. So apparently I wasn't supposed to come in. Come out and I'll do you quick. Stop hiding. We'll make nice. Promise. Oh. Get in my I did. I did. Anyone you walk away from. Freeze! Play and hide and I don't know how you can say you can break a sword. Not that it's an arm. What the hell? Oh. I thought that was direction attacking me. Dude. And I'll take that. There's nothing. Caught. I need that. Um. You're nothing, low red trash. Where the hell? Oh, you're over there. What's in there? Cafeteria. Cool. Um, yeah. More stairs? Built this damn wall. Fitness instructor? I know, it's pretty decent I size for this. Considering we haven't seen an overly large hole. <laughs> Ooh, that had to hurt. Gonna rob you out! Okay, so I'm just going to fuck up some more ghouls, and then we're headed for the surface. Why haven't I found a damn fault suit? 
I couldn't find one for Skinny anyone. Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Cool, hold up, there's a terminal here. Another l Uh, no, I don't really want to. I don't care. Locked door. Do mm, shouldn't be too hard. Ooh, vault suit. I'll have that. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Um, ready! Okay, so I better heal up. Red X. Right away. And, up. and then Med X. Where's Med X? Let's do it! Let's do it! Just be ready to shoot everything that opposes me on the other side. Nikki! What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy. Shall You're I? dead first. You should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got Your things under control. To die. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine oh, must have brought you to rub us all out. What's the deal with you people and Nick, anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out God, she skipped town to be with stirring. my old pal Skinny Malone, mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> it's troublemaker here. Used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Bad, now quit die. stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. Uh, oh shit, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and oh, Darla's look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. You're yes, I did it. You're right. Yes. <laughs> Things have gone nothing but south since she walked into my life. What are you talking about, Skinny? I'm you're saying you're bitch. dragging me and this whole operation down a bad road, Toots. We're Toots. through. Well. Fine then. I'm going back home. I don't need you, you fat ass. They always <laughs> gotta hit you where it hurts. Now what am I gonna do about you two? I know. I'm gonna give you until the count of ten. I still see your ugly faces after that. I'm gonna start shooting until there ain't no more bullets left in this whole vault. Better get out of here fast. One. Two. You're gonna fucking try. Three. Four. Five. Six. Is he gonna try? This individual is busy. Oh. Start. I was hoping for a shootout. But, oh well. Apparently we got up still. Back Bay! I don't know exactly where the fuck this is. But we're going to talk to this dickhead, and then we're going to cut the episode. <laughs> okay, so what do you got for me, Nikki Valentine person? Do I don't fucking know. Hello? Capture's still working. 
which is really good because it's been recording for 30 minutes and 46 seconds cool let's wait for this load screen to finish talk to the dickhead the private dick as um, I can do ah, the same. look at that commonwealth sky never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting thanks for getting me out how did you know where to find me anyway not many people knew where I went your secretary Ellie she sent me she did I should give her a raise <laughs> now you mentioned something about your son Sean and how he went missing I want you to come to my office in Diamond City give me all the details Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave this episode here. I was gonna go to, um... I was gonna go to the office and have a chat to him, but that would have started a whole new set of... Mannequin. That was, that was gonna start a whole new set of shit. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave the episode here. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. This is the third episode of recording today. Um, I might do more. No, no I'll, le I'll leave it for now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are liking the episode. Unfortunately, I don't think they've had very mu very many views. I think uh, the first two still haven't had any views, which is kind of really upsetting because I put a lot of time and effort into these, into these videos. So I want you guys to like them. Right. Um, yeah, I want, really want you guys to like these videos. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos by me. But for now, my name is Blue Rackney. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.